In this video, I'm going to show you how to install some radio tweaks to hopefully increase the download and upload speeds on your X10. Um, these tweaks were published in this uh, thread on XDA. The link is in the description. So, before the tweaks, if you go, if you run a speed test, it's a free app on the market. Okay. Um, this tweak works on any X10 running 2.1 and uh, your phone has to be rooted. So to start off, download, go to multi-upload and download the zip file. You have to have PC Companion and Update Service installed. Um, make sure that you've turned off user account control and you're going to run everything as administrator as before. So when you download and unzip everything you're going to get two folders. Uh, one is for rooting if you haven't already rooted your phone. So there's Super One Click, BusyBox, Super User, Titanium Backup, and Z4 if you're still using an old 2.1. And then the second is the radio tweak. When you open up the radio tweak, first you're going to open up Open Me again. It's just a text file with all the instructions and warnings and everything. So the first thing you should check is uh, go back to the thread and you check, scroll down, and check if someone has already tested it for your specific carrier. And um, if they have, they prob uh, they'll have the settings for your specific carrier. So there's AT&T, uh, UK, and a whole bunch of other countries. Um, the Rogers one for Canada. Uh, is what I posted. Um, it's my speeds before and after and my settings. If no one's tested it for your country you can use the generic settings and uh, this will set the, the, the modem and uh, radio up to ma or not modem, the radio to maximum everything and if your carrier's network supports the higher speeds then you'll see a difference. If not then it won't make a difference and you can just remove them. Uh, just to note that obviously setting the radio to higher speeds and uh, higher power uh, means that the battery will be drained faster if you do use your modem a lot uh, if you're tethering or doing something else like that. So on your phone to start make sure that go into applications Make sure that unknown sources is checked, go into development, and make sure USB debugging is checked. Plug in your phone, and do not mount the SD card, so just charge your phone. So next, open up the command prompt, uh, right click and run as administrator. and then go back into uh, notepad++ and start copying these commands. So the first command copies the build, uh, the build file which is like the, all the settings on your phone and uh, copies it from your phone. Okay. The second command opens up this file in uh, notepad++. So what you can do is either copy the seven generic lines or copy the specific ones for your carrier from the thread and put them at the bottom of the build.prop file. So I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom, bottom, and just paste. 
go to file save as and in quotes build dot prop dot new and then just close the file file close next you're going to log into shell on your computer and this allows you to access the phone and modify it so adb shell for this next command your phone has to be on and ready to receive commands because you're going to get a pop-up from super user and you have to allow this pop-up so I'm going to, have to make sure my phone's on as it hasn't gone to sleep or is locked and when I type in SU and hit enter on the computer you're going to get a pop-up on your phone um, I've already done this before I'm just going to reset it again so I'm going to remove this just to show you it again so on your phone when you type SU and hit enter on your phone you're going to get a pop-up so you have to allow this pop-up from super user the dollar sign is going to change to a pound sign which means your phone is ready to receive commands in super user mode and allow you to modify the phone this next line allows you to modify system files by making the system read and write instead of just read only um, so copy and then right click to paste commands this next command removes the old configuration file now you're going to control C to quit out of a uh, super user this next command copies the new configuration file that you saved and puts it on the SD card and then now you're going to go back into configuration and you're going to go back into super user This next command copies the configuration file from the SD card into the system uh, part, uh, the system memory of your phone, and then Control C to quit. And this last command just restarts your phone. Okay, so your phone is now restarting. I'm just gonna unplug it and wait for it to restart. So once the phone restarts, you can go back into speed test. Um, and run the test again. Begin test. And as you can see, the speeds are faster. Um, right now, I'm sitting in a basement, so my speeds are a bit slower, but usually, I'll get about 3,000 and uh, 1,200. 
um, as you can see from some of my previous results. So before the tweak I was at 547 and 163 and after I'm at 1091 and 378. Uh, if I scroll down to some other results, this is when before, uh, after I did the tweak I'm at 3590 and uh, 1219. So um, this tweak only works if your carrier supports higher speeds, but you can try it and uh, it doesn't actually affect your phone in any way. Um, so it's like putting in you know, higher octane gas if your card does support it. And that's how you uh, t uh, edit the radio on your phone for higher speeds.